far. You know I hate it. I don't like that. Right there. show okay i swear he thinks this is his show when i say cut i mean cut i'm both talent and production okay cut damn it that's the Rand bernard standing in line for the club one of my bops um welcome to the library live y'all i hope you guys had a great week i'm hot i'm hiding them white y'all remember that girl um <laughs> the lady <laughs> i'm hiding them white <laughs> i'm hiding them brown anywho um, listen, listen, um, first of all, I hope you guys had a great week. My week has been, hey, hey, my week has been so just stupid, but this morning I cleansed it all away. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or any of those other places, but this morning, I sat in the River of Jordan with a sage bundle, my sound bowl, some ducks, and a couple of geese. And I meditated for a good hour at the lake this morning. And I feel light as a feather. I probably levitated at least once while I was down there. And I enjoyed every bit of it. So, all the fuck shit from the week, I done forgot about. Why? Because I feel great. I don't know how y'all feel, but I feel great. I don't know how y'all feel about meditation and things of that nature and staging, but here, listen, it works for me and it makes me feel real good about life. So I was into it. I did it. I did. Sure did. Um, if you haven't, uh, Tamara, I'm glad you mentioned it. Oh, wrong way. Shit. Gotta go this way. There we go. Um, go hit up my good Judy. My good Judy. Khadijah Four, if you are interested in a regular, regular bitch crop, now listen. I love to throw stuff in y'all face and tell y'all that you can't get it 
because it sold out or they ain't got no more or whatever the case may be. This hoodie is from last year. So I don't know if she has the hoodies anymore. But I know for sure she just got the regular crop top. So, and they come in colors. You know I love a color. I might have to give me a, one, a, a color one. But um, head over to, I linked her or I put her Instagram down in the comments or in the description so you guys can get into it and y'all cannot harass me about stealing mine because I'm glad I got the hoodie because I love, it's a hoodie. It got the long strings. You know, I love a long string and it's a hoodie. Yeah. And it's soft too. So I can wear this at the club because we're going to the club this summer. That's on period. Mask and all. <laughs> Fanning our little cards, our little COVID cards. Because <laughs> hot girl boy and everything in between summer has officially our training session has officially began it began yesterday we was out here i don't know where you girls live but here in cleveland it was like 80 degrees and you know i was out you know i was out it don't take much for me it can be 50 and i'm out but <laughs> 80 oh i'm really out let, ooh, let me show y'all before we get into the mess let me show y'all these um where are they at i think they have my photos ain't nothing inappropriate in here so we'll be all right where did look at getting to these? Oh, I need to make it bigger. Cancel. I got these off, you know, after pay. After pay. Look, you know, I love anything that's mesh, see through, any of those things. I bought both of them. They was only $10. And they don't have to pay. They on some little thing called Sheen, S H E I N dot com. They don't have to pay. Get you some. I'm just telling you because <laughs> we showing out this summer because we didn't have a chance to show out last summer. And Miss COVID snatched my birthday away from me. So the bitch got it coming this year. Uh oh, Miss COVID got it coming because she, I'm pretty sure she'll still be lurking and lingering this summer, but she won't be as bad as last summer. Hussy. Anywho, so listen. News-wise, this week has been full of shit. I mean, full of shit. Let's just get right into it. If you haven't already, get over to um, at Welcome to the Library Live. The page is right... Ugh. Yep, I, did. I pointed right this time. Right over here. So you can get into it and things of that nature or the stories of the week. But baby, 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 listen. Where should we start? Let's start with DMX. Let's just start with DMX. Because um, the shit is just going to hell. The shit is just going to hell. Um, he's not going to hell, hopefully. Um, so I think it was, what was it, Friday? It had to be Friday because it wasn't, we didn't talk about this last Thursday. Um, so DMX done OD'd. Let me just take you all the way back to last week. So last week we got news that DMX overdosed. Um, he was rushed to the hospital, things of that nature. Um, they just said overdosed. Come to find out after said overdose, he had a heart attack and he was brain dead. He was having like, he was in a vegetative state. He's currently still in said vegetative state. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yesterday, we all on Twitter minding our business and our auntie, Claudia, Claudia Jordan tweets that DMX done went on the glory. So everybody falling out there. I fell out the bed because you know I'm dramatic. I'm on the floor, rolling around, screaming and things like, oh, God, they done took Uncle D. Um, come to find out, I don't know. And I was doing research like, how could Claudia Jordan and DMX be related to each other? Because that's what I like to do when stuff like this happens. Because I'm like, how the fuck would Claudia Jordan know that DMX done went on the glory? Like, did she get like, no shade to Claudia, because you know I love Claudia Jordan. But I'm just like... The major news networks ain't even picked that up yet. So, what the fuck makes Claudia Jordan... <sighs> Is there a way to say that without sounding shady? Like, I just don't expect Claudia Jordan to be the first one to break the news that DMX done went on to glory. That that was a good way to say it, yeah. So, I'm looking around like, they not connected no way. You know, Claudia used to do the, uh, the videos, the music videos back in the day. So, I was like, maybe she was in one of his videos or something. But nothing. Come to find out she spoke ill or spoke too soon. He's not on the glory. 
Um, apparently, as of today, his family is um, about to make a grave decision coming soon. So, um, unfortunately, it's probably. But you know what? I just made a post today, and I thought about it. I was like, listen, if Lamar was able to come back from all the concoctions and things of that nature that he had in his system in that brothel in Vegas and still be alive, and now he tipping around with uh, Louis Prataguchi, we'll talk about that in a second, then it's still some hope for um, DMX. So, sending positive vibes and things of that nature to DMX. Thanks, Jerry Bear. These are from... Where did I get these from? I got... The back one I made, I had like a necklace that was like a long dangling cross, and I just took that off and put it on an earring hoop. And then the front one is from Amazon. And I just put them both on today because I was feeling spicy. Um, so sending love and positive vibes to DMX and his family and things of that nature. I hope he got right with them kids. Because I remember that episode of uh, Iyanla where she was fucking up his life. And <laughs> speaking of Iyanla, I'll talk about her in a second. Um, that son, I think, I don't know if it's his older son. But the one, he told that boy, he told that baby, next time you're going to see me will be at my funeral. And my heart broke for him. I was like, oh, that ain't even right, DMX. That ain't right that you would tell your son that. But that's the relationship they had. Hopefully they clean that up. Because Lord knows Iyanla can't fix shit. That's why her ass is getting off the network. They canceled her. Well, they didn't cancel her, but she quit the show. She's done making TV. Because, you know, her thing was, I don't make TV. I'm not here to make TV. I'm here to help. Girl, you was making TV, Iyanla. Stop playing with me. You was on the Oprah that own. Okay? And own, Oprah makes TV. <laughs> That's that. Moving on. Um, I kind of wanted to... Now, I don't know whether I should go this way or that way. If I want to talk Tyler Perry, since we just mentioned Oprah, or if I want to talk about Lamar and Louis Prataguchi. Let's talk Tyler Perry first, then we'll go into the Louis Prataguchi in a second. So, listen. Um... Tyler Perry told us Medea was done. He told us that he was over Medea. She did. She gone on glory. And we are going to have to deal. Apparently now he is thinking of revamping a new series. I don't know where this series is going to air. But the preface of it is going to be Medea in the 70s. Like getting to know what Medea was back in the 70 days. Which would be... What? 20s? 20s, 30s. I don't know how old Mabel is, but the show is allegedly going to be called Mabel as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I care. I think I care a little, but not like, because I don't want it to be like, who's going to play Mabel? I don't want to see Mabel. Like, I don't want to see Medea unless it's like Grandma Medea. I don't care to see young Medea, if that makes any sense. Or young Mabel. Does that make sense to anybody? I'm just saying. Because um, I just want to know how that's going to look. Aesthetically. Like, who's gonna, who are you going to get to play her? How is that going to work out? I'm curious, though. Because you know I'm curious, George. So I'm going to watch. But I'm still nervous on how it's going to work. Anywho, DMX, you still on the screen? D Sorry. I forgot. I Listen, I be forgetting our production too. Um, nonetheless, um, I'm excited to see what it'll look like whenever that's going to be. Um, we'll follow up when he decides to tell us more regarding said situation. Um, Mr. Perry. Um, dead things. Speaking of dead things, Pose... <sighs> Pose is coming back, and I am so excited that Pose. I'm really sad that it's the last season. I don't think they gave Pose enough. Like, three seasons was not enough for me, but I guess, you know, I'll live. So, they dropped the trailer for the final season of Pose this week. So, we're going to watch, and we're going to talk. Here we go. If Pray Tell died, I'm gonna die. Just saying. This job is not for the faint of heart. 
You're a trans woman of color working in a hospital. I'm just trying to stay afloat. Oh, wait, let me put this Is down. This about your what I'd be talking about. All of that. We just gonna be ourselves and that's it. All of them what they used to be. Cash prizes and tacky lip sync. At least five. It used to be the sense of urgency in community. And then folks just started dotting my hands. Oh, was that it? Oh, I didn't play the full thing. Nonetheless, um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I believe it is. I believe it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix or Hulu. One, it's not Hulu because I got Hulu. So it got to be Netflix. It's on somewhere or FX. Who told me it was on FX? You got to get like the FX app or something like that. We'll find out. We'll put it in the comment section. Um, but I'm so excited. I know this. I don't want Pray Tell to die. That's Billy Porter's character. Um, for you guys who don't know the preface of Pose, it's basically the... If you ask me, well, they're going to cover this now. Um, basically, the ballroom scene back in the early 70s, 80s era, maybe 90, early 90s in NYC. That's basically the preface of Pose. Ballroom scene being, you know, the ballroom for the LGBTQRSTUVPIADA and things of that nature. I am so excited about this. I might They're going to make me get cable or get the FX app at, le at minimum. I wonder if it's on AT and T, cause you know AT and T get you all the good shit for free. You you might pay a hefty amount for your bill, but we get a lot of shit with AT and T on this little app. So let me check on there and I'll get back to y'all. Let you know. Um, so this is the final season of Pose coming soon to FX. I'm excited. Let me know if y'all gonna be watching down in the little comment section, cause I know I will be and things of that nature. Yes, Pose. All right. Let's let me get let me just get into Chloe now and then we can move on. Okay, so here's the video. I let the video play while I tell you why she ain't got on my nerves first. Then we'll let the video, I'll give you the audio. There's not much audio in the video. She's not talking much. She's just showing up. Actually, for that sake, I don't even need to turn the audio on. So Chloe Kardashian got on my nerves. I I just unfollowed her or refollowed her again. And now I'm about to block her ass again. So, MJ, you know MJ is um, Chris's mom. She was visiting Chris's mom, MJ, down to wherever she lives. And MJ posted a picture of Chloe. I wish I had the picture, but unfortunately, Chloe and her team decided to scour the entire internet searching for that picture and have scrubbed the internet of the picture. The picture wasn't even that goddamn bad, but it wasn't bad at all, actually, in my opinion. But it was untouched, and it was unfiltered, and it wasn't up to the standard, the Kardashian standard, which is Kim, basically, if we just being honest. Um, <laughs> so, her and her team, like I said, went and scoured the internet, got the pictures, took it all off of wherever the hell it was. Oh, I knew I should have screenshot it. Oh, I could just fight, because you ain't going to go on my phone. Chloe, you are your people, bitch. I should have screenshot it, damn it. Anywho, I didn't get a chance. It was just her in like a bikini. Like, it wasn't even a bad picture. But after the scrubation happened, here goes Chloe. She's now on this kick, posting these selfies, letting everybody know that this is what my body really looks like. I'm that she did a live last night, her and Kim, of her like in like what looks like a dance studio with the mirrors, and she's showing off her body and things of that nature. Chloe, I mean, girl, I understand that you, you know, be going through with the body, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your confidence is low and all that good shit, and you don't want people to see you in this light. But, girl, now I don't want to see you at all, because now you done overloaded us with a bunch of fucking naked, half-naked portion naked pictures that we don't even care to see. This is one of them. Here, this is a video. Can we, like, zoom in on this? This is her. Where the money resides? Get off of my screen. This is not your show. Thank you. Um, so this is just one of them. I wish I had the quote. I'm gonna go get the quote. 
because I follow I follow her on this page. Let me find her. Chloe. Here she is. Okay. Here's one of oh, here's a video of her in the studio with Kim. Good. Perfect. Showing off her body. She said, Oh, I'ma show y'all. Oh. Oh yes. Look at this. Look at these look at these bagel buns. Look at all of that. Look at all of this. Here's what she had to say. I'm not I'm not reading this whole post because it ain't worth it. Um, hey guys, this is me and my untouched, my body untouched and unfiltered. The photo that I was posted this week is beautiful, but as someone who has struggled with body image her whole life, when someone takes a photo of you that isn't flattering and bad lighting or doesn't capture your body the way it is after working so hard to get to this point and then shares it to the world, you should have every right to ask for it not to be shared regardless of who you are. I'm really just like, I'm over her already. I'm over her already. Uh-oh. Jared's on the screen. <laughs> um, Chloe, I'm over it. Girl, it's never that serious. And it was a decent picture. Like, the picture was okay. And MJ, I'm sure, didn't mean no harm when she posted it. She's a grandma. She's a great grandma, actually. So I'm sure she didn't mean no harm posting that picture. Leave MJ alone. Shit. Moving on. I'm about to block her ass again. I fucked around and got mad. Um, speaking of Chloe, let's segue into this, this new situation that I want no parts in. I mean, I want parts on CNN on TV. But other than that, I want no parts in it. So, last week, Yandy had a birthday party. You know Yandy from Love & Hip Hop New York. Uh, Mendeecee's wife. Are they married? Yeah, they married. They got married on TV. Um, Mendeecee's wife had a birthday party and Carly Rae was invited and she showed up with Lamar Odom. Now, here's my, here's my thought. Okay, this is going to be great for the next season of Love and Hip Hop. Perfect. I'm actually sure, oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm actually sure this will be highlighted on New York and Atlanta, which Carly's on Atlanta and then Yandy and is on New York. So I'm sure they got film or footage for the party in New York. And then this relationship, if you desire to call it that, will segue into her, her series in Atlanta. Now, I'm sitting here looking like, okay, how the fuck can I piece these two together? Like, where did y'all meet? What, how did this even come about? The only tangible reason I could come up together was that they're all from New York. All of them. Lamar, Carly, Yandy, and Mendeecee and them are all from New York. So I'm sure they're familiar with each other for that reason. And I'm sure this is their first time fraternizing. It's, especially, it didn't look like it in that video that I saw with uh, him and her. And they was shooting the confetti on Yandy's new car. But I tell you what, one thing is for sure. First of all... Lamar, the ink ain't even dry on your annulment to Miss Crazy Lady, uh, Sabrina Parr. You annul that engagement. Do you annul engagements or do you just like, I mean, I guess you could just call off an engagement because it's not like, it's not legal or anything. You just call it off, right? You don't have to annul an engagement. Whatever. The ink ain't dry, okay? And you done with her ass. And she clearly ain't worried. She on the goddamn Instagram jump rope on a pogo stick. And I do not mean that. I'm not exaggerating. I literally mean she was jump roping on a pogo stick. I'm telling y'all, she will whoop anybody's ass. <laughs> Anywho, um, <laughs> the ink ain't dry yet. And now you are here with Vampire Louis Prada Gucci. You know, Carly Rae is always looking for a new man. Carly Rae be looking for a new man when she got a man. So I wonder who is going to be next after Lamar. This is just a very odd couple. Like, I don't even want to know how it happened. But I'm interested. I'm very much interested in seeing how this is going to be toxic as hell. It's going to be some, some whooping ass. And Carly, well, she's small in comparison to him. Like, he's like a giant. I think 6'11", I believe, the last I heard. So, you ain't gonna be just, well, shit, Sabrina wasn't that big and she was whooping that trick, allegedly. 
I give Sabrina too much. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, we know Sabrina is, you know, she got a very short fuse, allegedly, according to the court documents and things of that nature. So I'm not saying none of that ain't true, but we just gonna move on because she ain't finna whoop my ass while she over here jump roping on the pogo stick. I wish I could find that video of her jump roping on that pogo stick. I probably can. Just, just give me a second. Sabrina Hart, get up the part. Here she go. Jump rope it on a pogo stick. Here, here we go. Look at this fool. I'm telling you, she will whoop anybody's ass. This the one bitch I do not want to get in a fight with. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. And she doing the crisscross. Look at her. Okay, that's enough Facebook because I don't want y'all cutting me off. Y'all see that shit? telling you she the one i don't want to get in a fight with let's move on to um <laughs> let's talk about diddy real quick so um <laughs> no seriously like if i see her in the alley I'm going the other way i'm going the other way and that's just on period um uh, so diddy is getting dragged all over the internet because he decided to get on the Twitters and make this grandiose announcement regarding black talent and white corporations not paying black talent for their, you know, their services or, you know, music or whatever the case may be. So this is Sean Diddy Combs we're talking about. So I'll just leave that there. So the girls are dragging him down. Um, just two of the drags that I found most recently, um, one being our good sister, uh, our Haitian sister, Jessie Wu, from Love and Hip Hop Miami. She was only on for one season. Then she got the fuck out, rightfully so. Um, she went on and said the following, Diddy, it starts with us. I was recently approached to host a show for Revolt, and it came without pay. Um, we cannot keep knocking white folks for their disrespect towards minority creators while doing the same thing to each other. I encourage you to be the change we need. Clocked. I mean clocked. You know Diddy runs Revolt. That's Diddy's thing. So, um, <laughs> Jesse Wu said, you're not finna sit here and play in my face like you ain't just tell me to come do volunteer work. Like my name isn't Jesse Wu from Love and Hip Hop Miami. The Haitian sister and things of that nature. And then, you know, there's never a time in your life that you will not see Aubrey O'Day have her foot on Diddy's neck. I mean, every single chance she gets, Aubrey O'Day is going to clap on Diddy. Here's what she had to say. Those living in glass houses, dot, dot, it should be an extra dot just for emphasis. Pay your artists first. <laughs> now, I like Diddy, but we all know that Diddy, Diddy just do that screenshot thing. I like Diddy, but we all know that Diddy is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Allegedly, let me start there. Diddy is allegedly known for not paying his artists and doing shady business situations and things of that nature. Um, there's a whole book about it. Somebody wrote a book. I forget who wrote it, but I remember reading it back in, oh, when was that? It was a while ago. But somebody went out and wrote a book about Diddy and how he do the shady business. But we all know how you were showing up to the video shoots unannounced and unscheduled doing your little Diddy Bop dance in these people's videos and then sending them a bill for a feature. And then we also know about how you would pop up in a studio sessions, allegedly, and do a little take that, take that on the mic. And then sending them a bill for your little take that, take that that they did not ask for. That is, that's not the mood for this song. But you decide to jump in and take that, take that. And then take that, take that. It ain't right. We, I mean, these are all proven things. We all know it to be true. Everybody ain't lying, Diddy. Everybody ain't lying. <laughs> it goes all the way back to the 702s and uh, the shit. The hell, Biggie probably too. God rest his spirit. But that's neither here nor there. We ain't here to talk about it. So good luck, Diddy, with uh, getting these people. Girl, they got you together. And this is just two of them. They getting them together. 
<laughs> As he should. So, um, let's move on to some good news. Um, shout out to Kanye, Kanye West. Um, y'all didn't know? Oh, y'all gotta get the book. When I find out the name of that book, I'ma tell y'all. Because it was all in the book. I forget who wrote it, but when I get it, I'll tell y'all. Uh, Kanye West is a genius. He might be crazy as a fruit fly, and he might be everything, every single negative connotation that's associated with a Gemini, but he's a fucking genius. So apparently Kanye West, for the past 20 years, has been documenting his life, like somebody been recording him for the past 20 years, I suppose. And now he has sold this footage, if you will, to Netflix for $30 million. $30 million. A genius. Learn from Kanye West. Learn from this. I wish I could. I mean, I, I got enough. I know, like, maybe 10 years? Seven. Like, seven to eight years on YouTube. You can go pull, like, my receipts and things of that nature from YouTube and things of that nature. But I ain't had nobody following my ass with no camera. But that is a genius idea. Why didn't these other rap girls think of this? We're going to talk about the rap girls in a minute, speaking of that. Why didn't y'all other people think of this? So, shout out to Kanye and, well, oh, shit. They had a, they had a prenup, so we ain't got to worry about Kim getting no coin. But this idea is genius. I'm mad I didn't think of it myself. Kudos to Kanye. Um, kudos to crazy Kanye. Moving on to the rap girls. Now, I'm going to um, get real spicy because this whole story pissed me off and I'm still slightly pissed off that we is fighting over this. This is what all this hoopla is about. So, last week, um, Young Miami from the City Girls and JT were on live and I don't know exactly how or why, but somehow JT and Lil Uzi, um, who is purple hair mess on the right, um, are dating. Have been dating for some time now. Um, so they were on live kiki -ing. And Lil Uzi, I don't know what happened, but it got real spicy and disrespectful in a tone on the live. Um, do I think it was serious? No. But from the outside looking in, if you was just like tuning in, you would think like, who the fuck is he talking to? You're not going to be talking to her like that. That's what the boyfriend thought, but we'll talk about that in a second. So it got real spicy and extra. The boyfriend, Carisha's boyfriend, done jumped in, Carisha being young Miami, done jumped in and told Lil Uzi, bitch, you not finna talk to my girl all sideways on the bullshit. I don't care if you was joking, bitch. Now, I don't know what kind of relationship these three or four, for that matter, including Carisha's boyfriend got going on. I cannot wait to go to KFC and get this spicy chicken sandwich. My chicken wings haven't thawed out. I don't know why that just popped into my spirit, but I just thought I'd let y'all know. I'll be trying it tonight. I'll let y'all know how it goes. But moving on, stay focused. Um, <laughs> so as of yesterday, let me make sure I get this right because it's real ghetto. Carisha's baby's father's sister sent screenshots of little Uzi in her DM talking about some what's up. One more time for the people in the back. Carisha's baby's father's sister has screenshots of little Uzi who is dating JT in her DMs talking about what's up and not like what's up is W-A-S-S-U-P. And we all know what that means. So, Lil Uzi, listen to me. One thing you're not about to do is ruin the city girls. That's what you're not about to do. Because we got too much riding on this whole city girl, you know, hot girl summer, hot boy summer, you know, just ghetto ratchet situation that we love. You're not finna ruin this. You're not going to. Hey, Tinabu, you're not going to ruin this because you ain't worth it. I'm just saying. Now, I know maybe a couple of, actually, I only know two little Uzi songs. And one of them I only know because of Nicki Minaj. 
And then the other one is the one from the meme. Now I do what I want. Now I do. When he was giving shoulder. Those are the only two Lil Uzi situations I know. And shit, I don't even know more of the now I do what I want song, but that part. But I know Nicki's full verse of the, uh, the other song. What is it called? I was just listening to it. I forget. Nonetheless, listen, Lil Uzi, you got to go. Because if it's you or the City Girls, it's the City Girls every day from the 305. Ghetto booties, pretty face, thick thighs, period. So, um, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I want Lil Uzi out with that thing in his head. Fool. Oh, I just got an attitude thinking about it. Um, moving on. We just talked about that fool and that fool and that fool and that. I know we're not done. There's no way we're done for today. There's no way. No, oh, Tiger Woods. I'm sorry. I was about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> um, listen. Listen. Uh, Tiger Woods, you better slow the fuck down. Now, we was all thinking like your car blew up. We was thinking it was just like. It may have flipped over or something like that. But come to find out, y'all remember Tiger Woods got in that badass accident a couple of months ago? Yeah, they had to use the jaws of life to get him out and all that good shit. So we over here praying for Tiger Woods and things of that nature. We should still pray for Tiger Woods, but I'm just saying. Come to find out, the cause of the accident was because you was down there speeding, playing Speed Demon and Fast and the Furious, and that's why your car went all tumbleweed and things of that nature. Listen, you girls, now I love a good, I like to speed every now and then, you know, every now and then. I'm not as bad as I used to be because now I got a little more, you know, responsibility and, you know, I'm a little more of an adult. But back in the day, honey, I got it. I totally got it. Just speeding for fun. Just pedal on the floor. For what? No reason. Zoom, zoom. But, it, sir, slow the fuck down. Before you take somebody out, you almost took yourself out. Yes. Yeah, they had to take him out and his legs and shit and things of that nature. Get it together, sir. I know you got it. How somebody drive? Why are y'all driving yourselves in the first place? I was just watching. Y'all know I'm still trying to get caught up with the Kardashians. And I just finished that episode where Chloe and them got in a car accident when they was in Montana. And I'm sitting here watching like, why the fuck are y'all driving y'all selves around anyway? Don't y'all got chauffeurs and things of that nature? And if you don't, I'm hiring. Shit, I know how to drive in the snow. I live in Cleveland. If y'all needed help, I would have been okay. I would have been up there in Montana to drive y'all in the snow. But that's neither here nor there. I just want to tie that in together all along with um, things of that nature. Um, so yeah. Woo, wait. Oh, he was high. I didn't see he was high. I wouldn't doubt it. Speeding and high. High speed. High speed. See? That? Yep. <laughs> high speed. That's what he was doing. High speed. <sighs> Drive safely, everybody. If you're out, if you're on the road, put on your seatbelt. Kim didn't have on a seatbelt. That's the first thing she screamed in the back seat. I don't have my seatbelt. Kim, why don't you have on a fucking seatbelt? Put on your seatbelts. Do the speed limit. Unless you like in an absolute rush and you got to pee or something of that nature. Even then, keep a bottle in the car. Pee in the car. Whatever you need to do, but just drive safely. And watch all the other people because everybody ain't watching right now. So the next fool next to you might be the one that's driving crazy. Watch them motherfuckers too. I'm very observant. That's how I'm able to get away with stuff like that. Because I'm I'm an observant, reckless driver. Like, I'm watching everybody while I'm driving recklessly. That's why I'm able to, like, do the shit I do and not get in car accidents. Because I'm an observant, reckless driver. But I encourage you to just be observant. Don't be reckless. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like there's something very important that I'm forgetting. Let me go back to my photos and just scroll one more time just to be sure. I just feel like something is missing. Something is missing. That's pose. Something is missing. Nothing is missing. Okay. I love hope. Oh, 
shit. Go back. I'm not going to ask you 40 minute show. Listen. Because I can go get this crispy chicken. Is it still raining? Oh, good. Look like it stopped. Listen, if you guys haven't had the chance, make sure you head over to... I'm going to do this right. Fuck. Make sure you head over to Welcome to the Library Live. Follow our page for all these stories and more. I love you guys for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow for the Library Live Book Club. Chapter 7, 6 of Dance Your Dance is tomorrow. So make sure you're tuned in at 6 p.m. Um... That's that. And I'm going to call y'all and tell you. Okay, what do I got to tell y'all about? Wait. I got to tell y'all about the Diddy book. I got to tell y'all about the chicken sandwich. And it was something else. I don't remember, but I'll remember it and I'll let y'all know. So, I love you guys for watching. Peace and blessings. It's hot as hell in here. The air has been on all day, but now I'm hot. I don't get it.